So I actually started the business, and you know, you, you always read about how difficult it is. And you know, if I look back on specific things that we tried to do and had difficulty doing, uh, it does seem like wow, what a pain it was. You know, things like uh, being able to emit boletos bancarios. Uh, it's, it's, it took our, it took our company something like eight weeks to be able to do that. Uh, opening a company takes a really long time. I, I kind of don't remember how long it took because of the way. It, Played out in, in my life, but you know, for sure, it, it takes weeks, if not months, to open a company these days. Uh, that's that should change, uh, and, I, and there are a lot of efforts to change that. I think today, uh, you know, a couple of people I know have mentioned that they're 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 using the the, the one man enterprise, one man one man solo business, man something like that, whatever it is. Yeah. I forget the name of it, but yeah, yeah, yeah. it's a new business category that was recently created that allows you to be like a, a solo proprietor. Of your company and start those kind of businesses really fast. So I think I think the regulatory environment is still difficult. Uh, there's still a lot of uh, going to the cartorio and presenting your documents and your. How would you uh, translate cartorio? It's uh, you, you know, know the United States does, just does not really have cartorios. <laughs> uh, there is, there are notary publics, so yeah, yeah. It, is, it is something. There it is you know occasionally required that you have someone. You know, put a seal on your signature and guarantee that that really is your signature uh -huh. for, you know, buy for a real estate transaction or something like that. But the number of times that you need to do that in Brazil is is exaggerated for uh -huh. sure. You know, so and that, and that it's not a huge cost, but it is a very inconvenient uh, way to do business.